Thank you, Father God, for watching us all last night while we slumber, while we slept. Thank you, Father God, for touching them with your finger love. I see them for a brand new day. The day they ever seen before, they ever seen before. In our right mind, what's not going to be And thank you, Father God, for bringing us back to the house of worship one more time. And Father God, please pray for everybody. All the sick and afflicted everywhere, Father God. All the bereaved and families everywhere, Father God.
and God will hear yes. and he will answer. Yes. I want to continue to pray for us as a body, the amen, entirety of the Cedar Grove Baptist Church. Amen. 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 We want to continue to pray for ourselves. Amen. amen. If you don't know how to pray for yourself, who you going who can you expect to pray for you? Yeah. Amen. Amen. We want to lift up Cedar Grove, amen. Every member, every person attached to Cedar Grove, amen. We want God to do only what he can do. Send them home. Bring them back. Let them come back in. Amen. We believe in God. I say we believe in God. We believe in God. Amen. We want to continue to lift up my dear beloved mother Maddie, amen. We want to lift her up in prayer, amen. And, uh, and you know what's really essential, amen. Don't forget, you can never forget to pray for the people of God. Amen. Amen. Pray for your sister. Pray for your brother. Here's why. You have no idea what they're going through. That's right. yes. You don't know somebody sitting here right now yes. has an issue. Yeah. Be real. Yeah. Yeah. I know I got one. Yeah. I got a couple. Yeah. But God is able. Yeah. I said, God is able. Lift her up, amen. Lift up, amen. Uh, all of our sick and shut in, those that may be, amen, that are uh, on a prayer list, and even those that are not, amen. God, amen, has the power. I want to lift up my beloved mother. Thank God she was able to make it out this week. She's, she's been having some little dizzy stuff. I was talking to her about it on the way, but guess what? I believe God. Lifting her up today. Right, that's right. Lifting her up today. Any other requests? Any other requests? Any other requests? Yes, sir, Brother Josh. I would like to pray for my brother Carl Deacons. All right. Amen. His brother, Brother Carl Deacons. All right. We'll lift him up. Amen. God bless you, Brother Josh. Amen. Any other? Any other? Any other? Amen. Father God, we come this morning saying thank you. Thank you Lord. Lord, we thank you for this yet another day. Yes, we thank you for this day. Yes. We thank you for your goodness and we thank you for your grace. Yes. Lord, we thank you for just life, yes. health, yes. the portion of it we have. We yes. thank you. Thank you. We're not our best, but we're blessed and we say thank you. Thank you. For your goodness, we say thank you. Thank you. For your grace, we say thank you this morning. Merit and favor called grace that looks beyond, amen, our issues and our faults, but and your love that looks beyond every fault but sees our every need. We say thank you this morning because, Lord, you could have suffered us to have been still laying in our bed this morning. We could have been cold laying there this morning with no more opportunity to rise up under it, but here we are. Yet again, here we are. Yet again, here we are. Another Sabbath day. To give your name the praise, to give your name the glory, to give you the honor that is due you. Lord, we have so much to say thank you. We have so much to be thankful for. We have so much to give your name the praise for. We have so much to lift your name in praise because, Lord, you have been an awesome God. Lord, you have been an awesome God. You have been awesome, oh God, in our lives. And Lord, we just thank you today because we realize, we know, we know, we know that it was only because of your love, only because of your grace, all because of your patience towards us, with us. We give your name praise and we say thank you, oh God. Thank you for not suffering the, the, the devourer to have his way with us. Thank you, oh God, for making a way out of no way. Thank you for supplying us with our needs. We say thank you today for we may not have everything we want, but we're blessed with what we need. We say thank you this morning. Yeah, our bodies might have pain, but we're able to walk in your house this morning. Thank you. We may not have the money, all the money we want, but we got enough to keep food in our house. We got enough to keep clothes in our back. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Thank you today for supplying our 
every, every need. And so, God, in that very in this sanctuary, we want to lift up, oh God, everyone, all the names that are on the prayer list. We want to lift up Brother Deacon, so God, my brother, Brother Johnson's friend, his brother, Lord, we want to lift up Mother Maddie today, oh God, we want to continue to lift her up. We want to pray that you will continue to be her substance, continue to be her strength, oh God, continue to be her all in all, oh God, as she's leaning and depending on you for all of her help, for all of her strength. Continue, oh God. For your glory and for your honor. Bless Mother Darby today. Thank you for allowing her to have the strength to make it out to your house today. All she wants to do is serve you, oh God. I pray you reduce the devourer for her sake. All of our mothers in the house this morning, we pray that you will be a fence, oh God, all around them each and every day. Rebuke the devourer for your suffering sake, oh God. Every pain, every malady, everything that ain't like you, we burn it in Jesus' name.
know he will answer. How many know he will answer? How many know he will answer? He will answer by and by. Say a little bit of this song with me. He's sweet. I know, oh, he's sweet, I know, strong clouds may rise, and strong winds may blow,
the name of the Lord. Amen. Let's go. Let's go tell you this ain't the message. I'm gonna get it real quick. I ain't been long with you today. I promise. Um, amen. Uh, but I love it because it's in biblical fashion. Yeah, what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, he said it like this: Whether two or three. Amen. Amen. Whether two or three. Amen. Whether two or three or what? What it said, go to mama. Whether two or three are gathered together, touching and agreeing, they got to be doing something, touching and agreeing on the same thing. He said, He'll be a God. He said, He'll be a God in the midst. Amen. So, amen. You know, we want, we, we want the choir stand to get full again. We, we believe that in Jesus' name. Amen. I say, We believe in that in Jesus' name. We're claiming that in Jesus. Hey. Claim it for the pews. Amen. We claim it for the pews. We're claiming for the pews. In Jesus' name. They're dutiful. They're being dutiful in the service of God. Amen. And I love that kind of going on because you know who that, who made, who that makes man? That makes old brother say that. Amen. And I try to make him that as much as I can. Because if I'm making him that, that means I'm making God glad. If I'm making Satan mad, I must be making God glad. Amen. That's a good way to check yourself. Amen. And the devil on your trail and acting a fool in your life and stuff going on, all that old stupid stuff, you know, amen. All that old stupid dumb stuff, amen. That's Satan on your trail. And you doing something right that's pleasing God. Don't you let nobody tell you different. We're grateful to God, amen, for another chance and opportunity, amen, to be able to stand behind this sacred death, amen, and to impart unto you that amen, which is the word that he has given us for this Sabbath day. Oh, I ain't gonna leave you. My brother, brother Mike back there, he got back there too. Amen. Give God praise my cameraman. I said give God praise my cameraman. Amen. He on post. I said he on post. Every week. He right there. God bless you, my brother. Amen. Amen. That ain't nothing. Slight of light. Amen. That's putting this thing. And we just, and watch this. We just as big and got going on like everybody else that's supposed to be big and going on in the city. There ain't no more that we are. Somebody say amen. amen. There ain't got no much more going on. And have a few more folk in the pew. Amen. amen. But that's about it. Because they sure ain't got us in love. Somebody say bless God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And be proud of your church. Amen. amen. I said, be proud of your church. Yeah, be proud of the goings on. At least you got something going on. Yeah. There's some churches, watch this. There's some churches that got folk all in the pew that they ain't got nothing tangible going on. Yeah. At all. Yeah. Oh, one more. I gotta give my, uh, my, my brother, amen. He got, and Sean up here praise for our position, yeah. amen. But uh, uh, okay, yeah, he gone. Uh, they they do they do the yeah, right. They're beautiful. Yeah, right. And last time you uh, you didn't know, last time I checked, one of the uh, other major things that's a draw to any church, along with the guys, always should be the gospel. Amen. I said it always should be the gospel. Amen. That can't get shaved. It need to be the gospel first, amen. But any church that's worth anything and got a, a healthy membership, the music ministry is gotta be on point. Amen. They gotta be on point. And he's helping us be on point. Amen. Because he's just as good as any other business names in town. Amen. He's playing that organ. Amen. I can prove it real quick. I ain't even gotta go through the other scripture reading all that. I can just jump in right quick. Ain't the Lord alright? How many know he's alright? He can jump right on. He can jump right on and catch me right there. You got something that's getting paid big money and they'll be over there hey, boom, bee, boom, bee, boom, bee, boom, bee, trying to act like he can't find me. <laughs> but he can find me, amen. He can find the overseer. He finds us, amen. And he knows how to play into the glory of God. And we thank you.
thank God for you, yeah. man. Yeah. We do. Yeah. We thank God for him, amen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why we in, they in here because the devil get them out there. He gonna show them uh, glamorized. Yeah. Yeah. And he gonna show them all he can about how much he's grateful. Yeah. 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 Have them on his side, amen. That's right. That's right. Encourage our young people, amen. Right. Look at your name and tell them to encourage them. Amen. Encourage him. Amen. Brother Josh. I'm going to throw one at him too. I'm going to that Brother Josh. Amen. Give that young man uh, 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 some love. Amen. He ain't got to be at the door of God's house. I don't know why he got me here, but he do. Amen. He could be anywhere. I said he could be anywhere. He ain't here just because mama here, because mama might have said, come on, let's go. Josh is here because he loves God. I can see it in it. I can see it by his attitude, his attributes. I mean, amen. I can tell it by the way he talks. The yeah. way there's, there's a perspective to say they'll know we're Christians by our love. Yeah. Yeah. Most kind is hard and spirit. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Mother did an excellent job with it. But guess what? It was for him to uh, it was for him to absorb what she taught him. Yeah. And in the house of God. Amen. I, I think that's I think that's my mental. Amen. Praise God. Yeah. Praise his name. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I, uh, well, <laughs> Philippians chapter. I, I'm going to be real quick. Watch. <laughs> Philippians chapter 3. And obedience to God. So, Philippians chapter 3, <clears throat> verse 7 to verse 10. Philippians chapter 3. Y'all can sit down. Bless your hearts. Y'all can sit down. Y'all can sit down. It's all right, Mom. I know you're doing it and you're respected and you can have it seen. It's okay. Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 to 10. Y'all have it? Scripture reads this way, but what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for, watch this, the excellency of the knowledge of Christ. Jesus, my Lord. He makes it personal. Mm -hmm. For whom I have suffered the loss of, watch this, all things, and do count them but dung, mm -hmm. that I may win Christ. All right. He makes that all personal for himself. Yes. And be found in him, not having my, watch this, mine own righteousness, which is of the law, but which thing, which is through the faith of Christ. The righteousness, which is of God, here we go, by faith. Say by faith. By faith. Verse 10, we'll conclude that I may know him. Say that I may know him. Say that I can mean it. That I may know him. And the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings. Bless his name. Mm. Be made conformable unto his death. May God add blessings to the reading and the hearing. Of his holy and precious word, I do believe this to be the word of God. Yes, and I present it to us in that fashion before, amen, the gospel rise records, before one shot or one tittle, this word shall pass away heaven yes. and earth shall pass away. But the word of our God shall stand how long? Forever. Amen. And if you believe that, we let's just give God a wave, at, a wave off like this and say to him, even this day. By way of subject, real quickly, I promise you, not going to be long. Daddy taught me 
good sermon don't have to be long and a bad one show not shouldn't be. Amen. And we don't definitely dare not stand and, amen, give a bad word on the behalf of God. Amen. All right. Amen. I can be. I can thank him that ain't been no flunks yet. Amen. Because mm -hmm. if you study to show yourself approved, amen, that means you know what you're talking about because right. you can study this word to be able to deliver it. Can I get amen. witness on my Amen. So I can thank him that ain't been no flunks yet. Yes. And I only suspect that there, there be any. Amen. amen. Look at your neighbor and tell him real quick. Ask him this question. Say, neighbor. Neighbor. Do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? Say, I mean, do you really, do you really, 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 really know Jesus? That's the subject today. Do you really know Jesus? Back it up with the second question. Do you really do you really know Jesus? Paul is writing this passage real quickly. Give you a quick narrative so that we can pull back on out. Paul is writing this, this word, speaking these words to the Christians, amen, that abided in Philippi. This is one of the cities that he sojourned in all three of his missionary journeys. This group of people that he made and formed a church out of was one of the cities that he established in the gospel works upon his first missionary journey. Amen. This people, the Christians here that uh, were of uh, Philippi, they were not narratively looked upon as being uh, people that would have knowledge of the word uh, uh, first light simply because they were not Jews. Yeah. They were Gentiles as the Bible says that anyone that is outside of the Jewish gender, Jewish uh, uh, nation, nationality than others would be considered known as Gentiles. We know that. Amen. Amen. They were Gentiles but there were some. Say there were some. There were some. There were some amen that the, the, the Jewish descent came and made their boat and came and made their living here, there in Philippi. So there were some Jews, but the, 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 the majority was of Gentile descent. Amen, amen. Paul is writing here, this passage of scripture in Philippi this morning as I'm conveying it to you, amen. Uh, as he would often do, he would often come, uh, there were the several churches that he established, amen. And as he was sojourning, he would come to, amen, one, one, one place, he would come to Philippi, stay a few weeks and minister to them, check on them, see how they're doing spiritually, see how they're doing, how the widows were doing, how the children were doing. They were, he was there to come to see and about tend to the needs of the people. Can I get a witness? Amen. In his coming by in his missionary journeys. We find him here this morning in Philippi. And as he would do all the times, as he would all times do, when he came, one of the main purposes... He came was to edify them in the way of God. Hallelujah. He was coming to edify them, yes. amen, in the way of God, in the knowledge, say the knowledge, wow. in the knowledge of God. Amen. I'm going to throw this at us, amen, and I'm going to come back to it. Don't be surprised when you turn running to people that say they know God, but they act like they don't. Hallelujah. I'll come back to that later. Can I get a witness? Amen. Because the word still regards that type of person being one that's like this. Them having a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. And then they having a zeal of God, but denying the power thereof. When you know Jesus, or when you know him, when you know Jesus, it makes a statement in your life. Can I get a witness? Well, let's get that ain't back to what I said. Second Tim, I mean Second Chronicles, I mean Second Corinthians said, uh, 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 if any man be in Christ, I got some Bible readers with me. He said, if any man be in Christ, he is what a new creature. Why? All things have passed away. What? Now behold, all things, y'all with me? Amen. Become new. That ain't because Bishop said it. That ain't because Mama Maddie said it. That's because God. When one hears the gospel message, when one inclines their ears to the word of God that says Jesus loves me, when the Bible is presented to someone and it says, for the love of God casteth out all fear, when one's ear is inclined to hearing the message say that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten 
my son. That whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Come, down the field, come across the field here. He would come and edify them in the ways of Christendom. He would edify them in the word. He would convey and teach them yet the word of God. Moreover, so much so for the fact that they would not be able to falter nor error. Hallelujah. Now that's important because in the, in the likeness of who he's edifying, who he's teaching, yes, yes. the word tells us that Jesus said, I came to my own mm -hmm. and my own mm -hmm. received me not. Can you witness? But yet he backs that up by saying, but as sons of God yes. even to them that believe on his name yes. Yes. questions asked do you know him this morning Hallelujah. because there is an indicative fact and reason for such a question to be made yes. All right. yes. why is that brother preacher I'm glad you didn't ask <laughs> There's a song that says everybody uh -huh. ought to know yes. Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes. Everybody ought to know yes. Hallelujah. who Jesus yes. is. Hallelujah. And the song goes on to say, He's the fairest of 10,000, He's the bright and morning star. Yes. Uh -huh. The question is asked, do you really know him? Do you know him? With the second cause of do you really know him? Because everybody that says, Lord, Lord, ain't going to make it in. Hallelujah. And I purposely use, I purposely use the bad grammar there because it's that indicative. Hallelujah. And it's that factual. Yeah. Everybody that says, Lord, Lord, Ain't gonna make it in. We're gonna be surprised yeah, yeah. to see some of who don't make it in. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna be showing up shocked and surprised yeah, yeah. to see some that don't make it in. Yeah, the point of the matter is, you can't make it in acting like yeah, you know Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Can I get a witness, somebody?
fact, some of them were not taking heed to the disciples' message, to the apostles' message. Some of them were not obeying all right, all right, all right. Amen. Yes, sir. the teaching. Yes. Okay. Some of them were not obeying the message. He's asking them this question, and I love how he puts it together for them in verse 10. He says, now, I've been coming, and I've been teaching you. I'm going to give it to you. It's your job to receive it. Like the suggestion, you can't take, you take your horse to the water, but you can't make him drink. Can I get a witness? Resurrection. Yes. How powerful was 
his resurrection. I'm glad you didn't ask. You know the story as it tells of the, of the crucifixion. You know the story of the cross. Can I get away this? You know the story of how he laid his life down for you and for me. You know the story of how he came to set us free. Can I get a witness this morning? You know the story of how he came down through 40 and 2 generations. Can I get a witness this morning? He came down for one reason. And that reason was to set us free. You know the story of how they put the stock of wood across his shoulders. You know the story how they wove around some thorns and crushed it on the brow and mocked him and called him the king of the Jews. Are you praying with me this morning? I'm backing out. I'm going to leave You know the story of how he came and he told them in the temple, you can tear this temple down in three days, but they forgot what he said. Can I get a witness? Because he said, and if I, and if I, and if I be lifted up between earth and heaven, he said he's going to do something, mama. He said, I.
in your life. I say, well, you really know him. Hope they're going to look at you and try to see if you know him. The attributes are going to be able to be called on their own. Can I get a witness? Because see, when you really know him, you ain't acting like nothing. You just living the life. Can I get a witness? You're just living for him. Just doing it as he says to do. You just read your word. You just loving everybody. You you doing the things that pleases God. It won't be. It won't have to be. It won't have to be no hard times. When you really know, He makes the difference.
good for the soul. I know, I don't. Well, what are you doing up there preaching? Because I have an advocate. I have an advocate. His name is Jesus. And when I know I do wrong, I go to him and I ask him to forgive me.
Moreover, oh God, let it be pleasing unto you. We love you now, we thank you. It's in your blessed, sweet, immaculate name we pray. Every heart in agreement with this prayer, say amen with me. Amen. 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 amen.